Let's all have a silly drink with Travis. Let's all have a friendly drink with Travis. Pour yourself a beer, a scotch, a sex on the beach. Uh, hello and welcome to a drink with Travis. I am uh, Travis Betts, co-founder of Drexelbox Films. And um, this is an update show where I talk about the things that uh, my company's up to. Um, but it's fun. Like, we have a lot of fun, so it's not just like, oh, and then we're doing this, and then we're doing this. I'm like, and then we're doing this, and then we're doing this. Like, I'm more excited about it, therefore it's fun. Plus, we have a special guest, so you, you know, there's that. There's a guest coming, so there's, like, movement. Uh, we just revamped our entire Drexelbox website, so you should go check that out because it's real slick. The most important thing about that website is there's a mailing list that you can sign up for updates. Uh, and maybe you've done that in the past when I've asked you to. <laughs> well, we had a little computer mishap and they all are gone. Uh, so I have a guest today and uh, she is an actress and she's been in a lot of uh, Drexelbox films. And so uh, here she is. Interview time! <laughs> it's not as lively as I thought it would be. We're here with uh, Sarah Lassay, who is uh, one, of the, one of the actresses that is part of our Drexelbox family. We've uh, used in films like Low and The Dead Inside. And I'm going to be the star of Boobs Galore. Boobs, Boobs Galore. Boobs, Boobs Galore. The second boobs is important, because no. it really stresses the first boobs. I have to itch. Cheers. Yeah. You know, the first time that uh, we met, we had three margaritas. Did we really have three? I, I believe it was three. I remember I remember we had a lot. You might have had three. What's your fondest memory working for Drexelbox Films? Well, probably I was walking my dogs. I was outside my house. You called me. I answered the phone. You said, you want to make a movie? And I said, yes. And you said, it's a musical. <laughs> I said, Awesome. But you hadn't done anything musically since when? I was in theater school at NYU, so I had different lessons, but then I also had private you were in teachers. So you were in theater school. Did you do any stage productions? A little bit. Yeah, I did The Elephant Man, the musical. You did? There's an Elephant Man, the musical? Mm -hmm. Who did you play? I played, um, I played a couple different characters. I was kind of in the ensemble, ensemble? but I played a hermaphrodite <laughs> in a freak show. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember any songs from the Elephant Man musical? There was, uh, yes, so oh, yes, mutants are his life. Mutants, 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 mutants are his life. Yes, so oh, yes, mutants are his life. Mutants, 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 mutants are his life. Mm. Uh, so you've been, you've been playing it in, uh... At the piano bar. At the piano bar in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I had this idea of, of, um, singing French music. And because of my family background, my grandfather was a composer and he'd worked with Edith Piaf. And also because I'm, well, you know, when I did The Dead Inside and I sang to do the recordings, there was only two people in the room and I had to turn my back to you because I was so shy. <laughs> so the thought of singing, and I felt like a fraud that I didn't think I was good enough. And I thought, well, if I sing in French, then people will be more forgiving because it's just like, oh, there's a girl singing French. So it seems kind of... I don't know. I just thought I could get away with it a little bit better. So why don't you sing us something? Well, because I don't. I this I was in unprepared. No, that, that wasn't me asking you to. That was me telling you to. Oh, I that could That was try. me like cutting to you singing something. Let's see. Le ciel bleu, le ciel bleu, sur nous peut s'écrouler, et la terre peut bien s'effondrer. Si tu m'aimes, je me fous du monde entier. Tant que l'amour inondera mes matins, tant que mon corps frémira sous tes mains, peu m'importe les problèmes. That was a lot of fun. She was using my ukulele. I just recently went to Hawaii and I saw this in the shop and it was cheap. But I, I tried to teach myself uh, tonight, You Belong to Me from The Jerk, and I'm really, really bad at it. 
<clears throat> as you will see right now. I know you belong to someone new, but tonight you belong to me. Let's all have a silly drink with Travis. A gimlet, greyhound, gin and tonic, slow, comfortable, screw. Let's all have a handsome drink with Travis. You can have another if you watch this vid twice. Let's all have a blurry drink with Travis. You can have three drinks if you watch this vid three times.